Content creation within business has always been a juggling act. You're researching topics, drafting copy, editing versions, and you still need to optimize everything for SEO. Plus, you have to do that for multiple channels. We understood how much time and effort was required from each step within our content process and automated particular steps that we weren't really needed for, which has saved us a massive amount of time and allowed us to create content. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get set up and automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations, much like what I'm going to show you today. This automated content system, which allows us to focus on the most important part of the content creation process, content creation. Now, content marketing or content in business is a funny one because those team members who are involved are going to wear multiple hats. There's a lot of effort and hard work that's actually needed. That's why we wanted to eliminate bottlenecks and create a streamlined content process with the help of both automated workflows and AI. And that's exactly what we've done. We've created an end-to-end -end system that helps us streamline our content ideation, validation, research, production, and publication. We've got a high-level view of our content calendar or pipeline, an ideas laboratory where we lean on AI to generate draft briefs and scripts as well as doing our research for us in the planning and research phase. We know that we've got a piece of content ready to create when we have it within the production phase. The script is ready, it's time to go. We've then got the editing phase and the publishing phase. Again, within our publishing phase, we're able to lean on AI to quickly generate a description, a UTM shortlink to track our clicks and leads, as well as YouTube tags, pinned comments, and more. So let's look at each of these individual automated steps to look at the broader picture of how we've streamlined our content production. Now this same system that we have built can be emulated on any other work management tool, say Airtable, ClickUpMonday.com. We internally use SmartSuite, and so we're going to discuss SmartSuite's features. Now we'll skip the high level content pipeline view and jump straight into our navigation. We've got the idea laboratory and this is where we hold our validated content ideas or any keywords that we've found throughout researching. We've also set up an automated step that actually populates from SEMrush directly into our ideas tab here. We'll notice that we've got claimed content which refers to one team member actually deciding and putting their hand up, hey, I'm gonna create this piece of content. We've got the status it is currently at, and below the claimed content grid, we've got the validated ideas. These are ideas that have come from SEO research or topic validation. At any point, someone can claim these and it will move up to the claimed ideas. So from here, all we would want to do is select a particular content. Let's say it's going to be jot form alternatives. When I opt for that to go to planning, it's going to leave our idea laboratory and we're going to navigate onto the next step of our content process, which is the planning and research phase. So here we'll notice that we've got quite a few already in the pipeline, but we just selected the jot form alternatives. So we're gonna select this and it will come up as our next video. We've got the title, it's assigned to me. We're missing a brief and script. We've got a simple tell me about the video here a status, a linked Google folder, and one of our agency editors. We've got multiple that we create videos with, so we need to define that. Now, all we want to ensure we've included before we actually generate a brief and script, automatically that is, is we just want to tell our system a little something about the video. So I've written jot form alternatives, fill out paper form, type form, tally. Then from here, all I need to do is to select the generate brief and script button. That automatically sends a webhook request, which I have set up in Pipe Dream, and that's going to use ChatGPT to run a deep research on the topic, as well as that prompt or the tell me about video section. And it's going to, after completing that research, generate a brief and script that I should be able to access any moment here from this field. We'll just be waiting on, oh, and we can see before I was able to finish my sentence, it has populated. So if I select that, we'll then see the newly generated brief and script for JotForm alternatives. Now this is created from a template Google Doc that we've got stored in our 
Google folder. We'll also notice that when we actually moved our record from the ideas phase to the planning phase, we've got an automation set up using SmartSuite Automations that sends another webhook request. As we can see, we scroll down here, create Google folder when video record created, and that automatically creates a Google folder and then links it here. That's something I forgot to mention earlier. The recording, editing, draft, revisions, back and forth stage, well, that can't really be automated. You want to ensure that you are using tools that help you like frame.io or markup.io, but you really should have a human in the loop step here. Now, whether that be you setting up an automation so that when a video draft is ready, one of your team member is notified, that's up to you. One of our editor agencies actually looks after this for us, so it's not something that we have to plug into our system. Although we do have an editing section so that we can view what pieces of content we currently have in the pipeline. Once we've got something that's ready to be published, well, we go to YouTube, we upload it, then we jump into our publishing section. We provide a YouTube ID here, we also select a UTM content tag. Now that relates to the topic focus of the content. And once we're done, we generate a description. This again uses PipeDream, ChatGPT, and our other applications to generate a YouTube description, YouTube tags, and our UTM or short link using dub.co. We've also used our automated workflow to determine which affiliate link should be plugged into our YouTube description without anyone needing to jump in and make the final call. And as we can see here on a previous video, we've generated the description here using the YouTube ID and the UTM content. There we pulled in our UTM or short link that tracks leads from this video. It's included by itself the correct affiliate link this is a softer video, so it should be softer. Currently, it is only generating the chapters and timestamps once the video has been published, so this will be updated on the live version of this video. Then it will also pull in the most relevant videos and replace this link here. Then on the back end of this automated content system, we've automatically got it set up so that a pinned comment is added as soon as the video is published. And within that pinned comment is again, our UTM or short link. We're still making improvements to this content system and we'll continue to do so. We've just included our short form tracker. We're also able to fetch data directly from YouTube, pulling in our YouTube channel and competitor YouTube channels data, which is incredibly helpful. And we've also included the ability to connect our reporting with our analytical platforms, allowing us to directly compare how our content is performing and how that correlates to how our traffic, our leads, and our overall marketing goals are performing. And this system has just scratched the surface of what is possible. If you're looking to automate parts of your business or set your business up for success, then don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.